Let's talk about EasyCam's layout for a moment. In 2015-2016, we've added a tab interface. This is installed as default. The tabs are laid out in logical order. If you want to go back to the old toolbar style, which a lot of our older customers like to do, you can go to the View menu and Customize. Under the Layout, you'll find Default, and if you're an Express user, you would find Legacy. And here are the toolbars you're used to. You can create as many layouts as you'd like, so you could make them uh, per strategy or per user. And then once you've made the toolbars uh, to your liking, you can go to the Export button, and you can save a registry file, .reg. Name it what you'd like, store it on your computer wherever you'd like, and then when you're installing newer versions or if you're going from computer to computer, you would just simply double click on that registry file. Now let's make a new toolbar. I'm going to go back to our tab layout. Now if a button was already used on another toolbar, you can simply click not included in the selected bar so you can add uh, the same button that would be found elsewhere onto the new toolbar. And you just double click and they get added to the, to the toolbar. Now let's say I don't want it to be a command manager tab, you can create your own tab. You can turn that off. If you don't want it to be a toolbar, you can turn that off. And the benefit there is by adding a shortcut. So let's add the shortcut number six to it. And wherever my cursor is located, and I hit number six, my toolbar appears. It's really handy so you're not dragging the mouse through the interface back and forth. If I go back into customize, you can click on an icon, left mouse click, and you can drag it and place it anywhere you'd like. If you pull up the spreadsheet, when you're in the customize, you can drag and drop columns as well. And this concludes the customize section of EasyCam.